Martin Alberto, followed by uh, Ver Veronica Valadez. What's going on? How's everybody doing? Good. Good. <laughs> so my name is Martin Alberto Gonzalez. I'm an educator, and I'm a concerned resident of Ventura County. This is my nephew right here, Matthew. He goes to De Anza Element Middle School. He's going to be going to Ventura High School. Proud to be going to Ventura High School. Something happened about a week ago that I wanted to bring him for a reason. I was at De Anza, and he's been telling his friends that he has a published author, a published uncle who's an author, who is me. And when I got to his campus, the students couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe it. They said, why does your uncle look like that? How come his skin is dark and he's an author? He's not supposed to be in that position. They couldn't believe it. They were in awe, to say the least. It was, it was alarming. It was very alarming that these kids didn't believe that I was a published author and that I was about to receive my doctorate. Now, let me, fast, let me go back six months when I visited Buena High School. Similar experience. Except these kids were a little bit more, a little older, and they were a little bit more aware about what was going on in society. Now, when I ended up, when I finished presenting at Buena, the students came up to me personally saying, I want to write a book like you. I want to do something special like you. Here in Ventura, we need this. And it reminded me of my first ethnic studies course that I took, which was a requirement, by the way. I didn't want to take it. Mm -mm. I was required to do so. And when I took that course, it changed my life. Why? Because I was like Matthew's little friends. I said, people like you ain't supposed to write? No, I didn't learn that in school. That's not supposed to happen. That's not supposed to happen. And so it reminded me of how it was a requirement and how that changed my life by accident, right? I guess the fancy word is serendipitous. I think that's the word that people like to use, right? And so I wanted you to consider that and I wanted you to take this pledge seriously. I want you to think about how, what this means, how this is a monumental intervention, not just for people who look like us, but to challenge everybody's misconceptions of what an author should look like. Because little Matthew is going to become an author too. And so is his brothers. And so are some of these kids here. They're already writing. Didn't you hear their speeches? So please, please, as the people have been saying, don't just pass it. Let's be comprehensive about it. So that way we don't blame how it didn't work. Let's be comprehen comprehensive and let's pass it with funding. Thank you so much. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> Okay, ready, Veronica? 